Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce to Nirmal Ramalingam. I just met him recently. Um, he's also in IT like me, but anyway, I'll let him do the intro. So Nirmal, kind of give your intro. What do you do now to where you're going or, or you know, uh, what are you up to now, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, <clears throat> nice to be here. Um, yeah, like you said, I'm in uh, IT as well, uh, but um, real estate uh, seems to be, you know, my future. <laughs> That's what I, I see myself going forward. Um, initially, I started hmm, with some rentals and then started doing some fix and flips, um, you know, realized that you know we did good but uh realized that that was not a big uh, scalable business um so i was uh, doing some research on hey you know what are the other options i have in real estate rather than fix and flips right um that's when um, i found out about uh, multifamily i joined you know facebook group started networking with people but uh, then realized that you know <laughs> multifamily is a different ball game than than single family, you know terms and, and things I didn't understand um, at that point. Um, so I joined uh, a mentorship program. Um, pretty very pretty expensive to get in, but uh, they have a lot of resources that could uh, you know really accelerate your uh, um, your learning curve. Um, and then um, I mean, started doing that, networking there, found uh, found partners, and then uh, we really uh, maybe uh, closed on a deal here in Colorado a few months back. So we're trying to now uh, you know scale that business. It's been a, it's been an interesting uh, journey so far on the real estate side, but I'm really liking it. <clears throat> well, I mean, with that being said, I guess you know what's your I guess. Who do you like to, uh, who can you help and who would you like to connect these days? So uh, these days I am, like I mentioned, you know, I am pretty um, um, heavy on the multifamily side of things. You know, who I can help is I can um, help people who are looking um, in the multifamily space as well. Uh, I uh, I am right now currently investing uh, more in the Colorado Colorado region. But then we're front range mountains, um, so I can help anybody who's interested in this area. Uh, how it might be finding the deals or managing the asset or even you know bringing in some money. Uh, as I am, you know, I've lived in the Colorado area for you know 17, 18 years now. Pretty familiar with the neighborhood. So if anybody is looking to invest in the Colorado region, you know, I'm 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 here to help. And uh, as for myself, you know, the same thing again, you know, we are trying to grow our business. Uh, we are uh, get the next next better deal. You know, market is in a flex, but, uh, you know, there's always deals out there. It's just a matter of uh, finding them. We are looking um, if the numbers work out. Uh, we are definitely looking to get into them. So I would like to partner up who's again, who's interested here in this investing in this market, uh, whether they bring me the deal or they can raise some money, whatever that uh, case might be. Uh, we do work with uh, other partners out of Texas. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I am looking to connect and network with um, other multifamily operators, you know, there's always, you know, so much to learn, you know, even though I've done a deals and, and we are managing the asset, we did raise money for it. We did go through the whole cycle. I'm not a whole cycle, but at least the whole pre um, acquisition things. Um, it's still, there's a lot of, a lot of learning to be done in this, uh, in this business. And I am, um, you know, Willing to uh, you know teach people what I know, <laughs> the little things I know. Uh, I'm always open to conversations, but I'm also willing to learn from other more seasoned and experienced operators. Uh, that's uh, always always looking to network. Awesome. So I'll be posting Nirmal's uh, info. Obviously, you know if you're watching on LinkedIn, you can reach out to him through LinkedIn. Uh, but yeah, his website, whatever I have, reach out to him. So network to see if there is a possibility there if you're in multifamily even if you're not in multifamily want to get into it 
maybe that's something he can help with. Awesome, Nermo. So I guess, you know, what inspires you these days is not IT for potentially, but what inspires you to get up and do what you do these days then? <laughs> you know, it's a, you know, it's, it's been a, uh, a tough journey as well. Uh, you know, when I was in my, you know, late teens and stuff like that, I mean, when I was in late teens, you know, there were, there were times you know, where I would, you know, go to, go to bed hungry. Why and where, why and all that is, you know, is a discussion for another day. But I don't want that for my kids. Um, even though, you know, they are, I mean, I guess they are fine. You know, they, <laughs> they drink, for, you know, uh, organic milk and farm fresh eggs. But, <laughs> but that is always in the back of my mind. It was, you know, it was tough, tough life, and uh, um, I've come a long way, but still, it's always in the back of my head. So, my family, um, helping my family uh, go to the next step. Uh, there's always the next step, right? Uh, give them the best education, give them the best opportunities. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they can build from there. But um, as, as a parent, uh, we pro try to provide that a good starting base for them, right? So they don't have to start from zero. Mm -hmm. um, it becomes very tough to start from zero. So, you know, helping my family is what motivates me uh, to get up every night, every morning. I do give, wake, wake up early in the morning. I uh, I have long days, so so <laughs> so it's not easy waking up in the morning. You need that strong, the strong reason to get up. You know, four four thirty. Why do you, why do I have to wake up at four o'clock in the morning or four thirty in the morning, right? So uh, I also you know whenever I talk to other uh, you know younger investors as well, I ask them that's the thing. You know, you got to understand your why. Once you realize that. Um, everything else will fall in place. You will do what needs to be done. <laughs> so, so that's uh, that's my wife right there. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, there, there, there is saying um, a strong why will always overcome any how. <laughs> that's true. That's very well, true. That's, you know, how you can always figure it out. Yeah. You know, uh, there is there are resources, there are friends, family, network who can who can help you. Mm -hmm. with the how why is something you got to dig in yourself <laughs> i can't exactly. i can't do it with your why <laughs> exactly well you didn't get into the story but obviously you know you grew up in a circumstances where you had to struggle and all that stuff you know to where you are now pretty successful you know being an investor and all that stuff so i'm sure there are a lot of things you learn along the way that has helped you sure. um so what, what's the one tip you can share that has helped you in professional or personal life, whatever, can, that can help others? You know, being a, one thing I learned is, is being persistent. There's always going to be, you know, good and bad things in your life. Um, life is never, nothing goes up straight, nothing goes down straight, right? I mean, there is, there is, there's always going to be ebbs and flows, you know, um, hills and valleys in life um, um, there's going to be even when I started um, like I said in education we had I had you know a lot of issues overcoming that um, trying to you know um, get into the real estate business that was there was a lot of uh, uh, you know problems I had to face I I mean there's uh, I could have given up any time but I never I never that's at least what I think has helped me is I never gave up okay a problem okay let, let's figure out what the problem is um, how I can you know overcome it or at least talk to someone who can help me overcome it uh, if something that I can do myself you know, you ask your wife, your spouse, or whatever, if, you know, if they can help you, if they can't help you, it's just a process, right? You go to the next step, let's figure out who can help us, you know, talk to them. There's always resources there to help you to get over uh, whatever, whatever issues you're facing, whether it's financial or business or mental. Uh, but the key thing behind all that is being persistent with it. 
at, at, at some point, uh, you, you at, at no point you should give it up. You know, sometimes I felt like you you were the, the Greek, Greek mythologist, right, who rolls a, a big boulder up the hill and then he rolls back down. Uh, he, he, sometimes you do feel like that. You you think you were, you know, you, you were done with it and then, you know, next one comes up. Right. Uh, being persistent and uh, uh, focusing on the problem uh, will always, uh, help, that's always helped me uh, overcome whatever it was. So giving up is easier. It's always easier to give up, right? I tried, man. I mean, it didn't work out. I'm just going to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, throw in the towel. No, um, keeping at it always helps. And that's that's my own, that's my tip. That's what I've learned at least over uh, many of the issues I've faced in my life. That's a great, great tip. As Napoleon Hill said, you know, no man is defeated unless he accepts it in his own mind. Yeah, that's true. That's Even true. Somebody fails, right? So that's an excellent, excellent. That's my experience too, you know, or the only reason. I mean, yeah. Anyway, not to go into long story, I've learned that in even in IT, you know. <laughs> true, true. Um, it, it helps in any any phase of life, yeah. whether it's business or personal. Um, it, it does help. Like you said, you know, it's all in the mind. If you have a strong mind, uh, everything else will fall into place. Awesome. All right. Great tip. Thanks again, Nirmal, for taking the time. Again, like I said, I'll be posting Nirmal's info. Reach out to him, uh, either to network or maybe potentially do business with him. Um, again, thanks again, Nirmal, for taking the time. All right. Nice to be here. Thank you.